guys welcome back to another shop my stash video uh, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the products that were in here previously for the past little over a week and then uh, we're gonna pull stuff out and then we'll go ahead and shop my stash for uh, new items this time I'm gonna pull some products from my new makeup drawers um, kind of keep it a little bit exciting uh, the lip products we'll talk about as well I do have some declutters from the month of January and then I'll show you um, the lip products I pulled in for February that I rolled in for February and then maybe we'll pick one or two more uh, lip products from um, like the new makeup or maybe from older makeup anyway without further ado let's go ahead and get started uh for powders i had in here the huda beauty uh pound cake i'm gonna pull it out i'm pulling all of these powders out flower beauty light illusion i actually did really enjoy this guy i did find it to be very very similar it's almost un undetect undetectable is the word undetectable un detectable I think that's the word on the skin very similar to uh, the Charlotte Tilbury uh, like her press powder um, I really enjoyed it I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out and I'm gonna pull out this uh, Becca not Becca Laura Mercier uh, translucent glow powder I did use it as a finishing powder Believe it, believe it or not, I didn't finish this guy. I actually totally forgot that it was in here. It was kind of like stuck under other products, so I didn't use it. I did enjoy my Tatcha the Silk Canvas uh, Primer. Again, I actually do really like this product. Whether or not, I think it's worth um, the price tag. I'm not sure, but I do like it. I do like how my foundation looks on top of it. Very little amount, goes a very long way, so it's I like it. Um, the Rimmel Natural Bronzer, this is in the shade Sunlight. I had kind of thought that I was going to declutter this guy because it's a little bit on the orangey side. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and hold on to it. I, if I use this guy, like it's a bronzer. It's not like a contour bronzer combo. It's just a bronzer. Um, I used it today and I actually did like how it looked. So I'm going to keep it in my collection. And I'm also definitely keeping this e.l.f. Uh, bronzer. And this is... Uh, Forever Sun Kiss. I really really like it. I love the formula of it too. Um, Milani Strobe Light in the shade Sun Glow. A stunning highlight. Um, so beautiful. There it is right there. Um, pull it out. Uh, this uh, The Body Shop Shimmering Waves and this is the shade Peach. I'm kind of torn on this guy. It is in, super intense, and the because it's so intense, I feel like it shows kind of texture. I, I don't, never thought that I have textured skin, but it's beautiful. Ah, forget it. I'm gonna hold on to it. No need to declutter something if I actually do enjoy it. And then the next highlight in here is this guy by uh, Sugar. Um, this is the shade uh, Champagne Champion. This was really beautiful as well. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. Okay, for blushes, I had three blushes in here. I had the Physician's Formula. This is the Happy Booster Blush in the shade is Warm. I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to this guy. I actually do really like it. It looks very natural on the skin. Uh, these two by One Wild, I'm gonna go ahead and declutter them. Um, this guy is pretty old in my collection, Pearlescent Pink, and this like their older formula. And then this guy is Rosé Champagne. Um, the couple of times that I used rosé champagne on my skin, I kind of looked a little sick. Like it didn't match with my skin tone too well. It looks like kind of pretty like this, but when I put it on my skin, it looked kind of like a weird, ashy, gray, mauve thing. It, it didn't look really well. On, like it did not look really well on my cheeks. Um, and then pearlescent pink, I think it's just a little too pink. I do like the little bit of gold in here. Um... Uh, it, although it's a little bit older, I feel like... No, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. I, I was I had kind of made up my mind the past couple times I used them. I don't need to hold on to them and like try to make up my mind one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and pass these along. Uh, the other, I did have a couple palettes in here as well, like face palettes. I had the Becca Chloe Malika. Uh, this guy was absolutely stunning. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back into my collection. And I'm gonna pull this guy back into my collection as well. This is the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster, um, the contour thing. It has a highlight, contour, and a bronzer. Um, I'm gonna put it back into my collection. I actually enjoyed it. For mascaras and stuff like that, I think I'm I'm good on this side. I'm not decluttering any mascaras. Actually, this one is empty. 
I have um, I have been using this guy instead. So this is gonna go into my empties um, for single shadows. I'm gonna pull this guy back into my collection. This is Humor uh, by, by Bare Minerals. I'm gonna put it back into my collection. This guy, I'm just trying to get some use out of it. Um, we'll do lip products last. Let's talk about eyeshadow palettes. I had the BH Cosmetics Glam Reflection Smoke Palette in here. Uh, this was so beautiful. It did require a lot of blending. Like I definitely worked hard to get really nice looks with it, but it looks absolutely stunning. Um, I'm at the point where I don't know where to go with this one. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to keep it. Mm, it's beautiful. I'm going to keep it. It did require blending, but the looks that I created with it were just stunning. So I'm keeping this guy. I'm definitely keeping my Urban Decay Naked Heat and I'm definitely keeping my Pat McGrath, uh, Metal Morphosis, uh, the Mothership Subversive, whatever, whatever the name of this one is. Um, I'm keeping this guy and I'm also going to keep my Urban Decay Naked Heat. They're just going to go back into my collection. Here's the Naked Heat, not that you've never seen it, so, okay. For uh, setting spray, I did have the Urban Decay All Nighter in here. I actually finished it, but I uh, I put some of the Too Faced. This guy is in a project, the Too Faced Festival Refresher. I don't like all the shimmers in it all the time, so I put some in here just so I can use it a little bit more, and then it's not so shimmery. Um, so that's probably gonna stay in here. I want to finish it. Uh, Revolution Sport Fix. I don't know that it was really like extra hold. I'm gonna put it back into my collection. Uh, for concealer, this guy, It Cosmetics by Bye Bye Under Eye. Holy smokes coverage. Beautiful. A little bit goes a very long way. And then the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. I don't know. I know a lot of people like this guy more than they like the, the other, the Revolution like, um, what is it called? This guy the original conceal and define people like this one more for some reason i like the other one better this was pretty good but i prefer the other one um pulling them both both back into my collection i did receive this uh, bare minerals lipstick from influencer for a free for review and i put it in here i have used it a couple times and i really really like it and this is the shade courage i really enjoyed the formula of this guy it went on so smoothly so it was so comfortable and the color is just beautiful. So I'm gonna keep it in here to play with it a little bit more so I can actually do a really good review on it. So I'm keeping this guy in here. I also picked up a new lipstick and this is by uh, Sephora, like the Sephora collection, uh, the Cream Lip Shine and I picked up the shade, oh my goodness, uh, it says 08. What is the shade name? Um. I don't know. Is it 80? No, zero. I want to say maybe Rebel Red. Um, so this has been in here for uh, since I picked it up. Oh, it's so pretty. This was influenced by my friend Valerie. She's like, you gotta check out this collection. And then of course I bought this guy. Uh, Lancome. Uh, I haven't used this guy still. So I'm gonna keep it in here as well. Um, it's so pretty. I think it's like perfect for for February. So I'm keeping this guy as well. And I'm going to pull this guy out. This is Lime Crime Lip Blaze uh, in the shade Jade. I think I'm getting blind, more blind. <laughs> here it is. Um, I'm going to pull it out. And then the other lipsticks that I had in here, I guess I jumped straight to lipsticks. I didn't talk about the two foundations, but we'll go ahead and talk about those. Um, the other lipsticks that I had in here for the whole month of um, January, I am going to go ahead and declutter three of them. I'm going to declutter the NYX Butter Gloss uh, and this shade is Sugar Cookie. If I were to re reach for a lip gloss, this is not the one I would reach for. Uh, it's pretty, but the color just is not what I personally enjoy. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this guy. Uh, Blushing Bride by Tarte. This is the Lip Surgeon's Power Pigment. Um, I like this guy, but I think the last time I used it, kind of smelled a little weird. It still has a little bit of that minty smell, but it has another scent to it. So I don't know if it's gone bad. I've used quite a bit of it. I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. It's, um, it's just time. It's time to get rid of it because it's really old. And, um, this was a gift when I got married from one of my friends and I've been married for a little over four years. 
time for it to go. Uh, Wet n Wild Wine Room. Uh, this is a really pretty color, um, but the formula is just so like dry. Actually, I want to keep it. It's such a pretty color. Forget it. I ha I'm going to keep this guy. I thought I was going to get rid of it, but I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Um, it's just coming out of here. Um, the other lip products that, that were in here are all going to be coming out. I had a uh, Beauty Creations, the Long Wear Matte Lip Gloss Sweetheart going to come out. Uh, Alouette Face Paint in the shade is Blooming Berry coming out. Too Faced. Um, gingerbread man. Uh, I did use this guy quite a bit. The Ulta juice uh, lip oil. Uh, Melt Cosmetics Old Rose coming out as well. They're all just going back into my collection. I just wanted to mention them to you before I just before they vanish for another couple months. <laughs> Uh, Bite Beauty Maple coming out, Buxom uh, Danger Dolly coming out, Buxom Dolly coming out. Uh, th those two are by NARS, the Velvet Lip Glide, um, one is Vault and one is Spike, both coming out. I really like them. And then the two lip liners, one by NYX and one by ELF, are both coming out. The last two products that were in here are the foundations. I had the Milani Screen Queen, the Natural Finish Foundation. This is like their new foundation. I actually really enjoyed it. I was pretty happy with this guy. And the Flower Beauty Light Illusion. This is in the shade Warm Beige L4. Uh, I did like it as well. I'm going to pull both of these out and then we'll pull different foundations in. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and shop my stash for new items to use for the next two weeks. Uh, first, uh, again, we're starting with new makeup drawer. One of the things that I finally went ahead and did is I placed a Makeup Geek order uh, when they um, rebranded, whatever you want to call it. I bought some single shadows. These are the shadows I picked, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this palette. Um, I cannot wait to play with it. I haven't swatched any of them. I just put them in here. The one thing I have to say that really irked me is that they don't don't fit very nicely in the palette like look at this I can't fit another shade in here like what the hell are they thinking anyways it took me uh, a little while to uh, uh, kind of have them symmetrically placed uh, equidistant from each other hmm. and now I'm gonna have to uh, try to do that again Hello? Hello? Okay, close enough. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this one palette in. Um, I I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull this guy. Uh, this is the lip uh, Lux Liquid Lip by ColourPop, and this was the shade. Is it Phoebus? Phoebus? I don't know. One of the Disney collections. I'm gonna pull it in. I think this would be a really pretty color for this uh, for Valentine's Day. Um, I wanna do that one. And uh, how about for primer? Let's try this guy. This is the Water Burst Hydration Primer by Ciate. Uh, like Ciate London, it's 10 mil in here. It's quite a bit, honestly. Okay, so this is it. I think that's it from the first drawer. I did take out some of the stuff that was in here. I put it away in a box because I was like having new makeup and I'm trying not to buy so much. <laughs> At some point, they'll be back in here. Um, from the next drawer down, this is also um, still new makeup. Uh, for foundation, I'm gonna pull in this guy. Uh, finally, I'm gonna try it. This is the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Medium to Full Coverage Foundation. I got the shade 116 Light Medium. My husband bought this for me for uh, Christmas. Almost two months ago. So I'm pulling that in. Um, I do wanna pull in... Let's pull in a new mascara because I have a feeling that I'm really close to finishing the Lancome Monsieur Bic. I'm going to pull in this Bare Minerals Lush Topia one. I'm going to pull in this concealer by Julep, uh, the Cushion Complexion 5-in-1 Skin Perfector, blah, 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 and the shade 220 uh, Sand. My friend Valerie has sent this to me forever ago. Um, I'm going to also pull in... I'm going to pull in both of these blushes. I'm going to pull in the Bare Minerals uh, Bounce and Blur blush, the shade Mauve Sunrise. I want to try this and I want to try this guy. This is um, like the blush that came uh, with that um, lip product um, from ColourPop, like the Disney collection. And this is um, Court of Miracles. Care, I think I 
bought the Hunchback of Notre Dame set. I think. I'm not sure. So I'm going to pull this in, this guy, and for eyeshadow palettes, my friend Mariella here on uh, Makeup with Mariella, she knew that I was on the hunt for this guy, so she sent it to me. I was so happy when she sent it to me. It was like one of those eyeshadow palettes that I just could not freaking find. Um, I, I, I did go to like so many different uh, Ulta's to uh, haunt for this one. These are also by ColourPop, the Butter Me Up. So I found this, but I didn't find a flutter. Um, so I told her about it and she sent it to me. So thank you so much, Mariella, for that. That's um, wonderful. I, I really appreciate it. So I don't know if I wanna pull this in or if I wanna pull in uh, one of these two that I won uh, from a giveaway from uh, Kena's Closet, my friend Kena here on YouTube too. I'll have everybody's channel in the description box if you're curious to go check them out. Maybe I wanna pull in one of those palettes. Um, I got the shade Rose or the, the Rose and Deep Neutrals. Hmm. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think I'm gonna go uh i'm gonna go do i want a flutter or do i want this guy let a color pop let's do let's do a flutter because the when i do pull this guy in the butter me up i want to pull in uh the single shot like the the super shock shadows that i purchased with it so i think i'll pull this guy um a flutter and uh did i get a highlight i don't think i pulled in a new highlight um should i do let's do let's do this highlight in this lipstick maybe um from ofra this was a holiday set and let's do that I'm gonna pull in this red. I think this red will be really beautiful for Valentine's Day. And I'm pulling this highlight. Um, yeah, let's do that. This is the shade Blissful and the liquid lipstick is in Brick, Brick, Brickle. Brickle, that, okay. Tongue twister. Uh, now I can get rid of the box. I can just throw this in here and be done with this box. Woohoo! Okay, uh, so that's it for new makeup. Um, let's go ahead and pull in uh, uh, some of the older stuff in my collection. Okay, so let's pull in an eyeshadow palette, like one of the older eyeshadow palettes in my collection. I have both of my drawers open in here, uh, or over here. For a neutral one, I used to really like this one. It's been a really long time since I played with it. I don't know how I still feel about it. This is the color, um, not color pop, cover girl, True Naked Chocoholic palette. Um, I really did enjoy it a while back. Or it's either this one. I kind of want a neutrally one. Um, yeah, I want neutral, somewhat on the neutral side. Or my other option is uh, maybe this one by Pure Swear Diaries. This head came in a BoxyCharm forever ago when I did have BoxyCharm. Um, let me see. Let's pull in the CoverGirl one. It's uh, me. Yeah, it's been, a, it's been a long time since I've played with this one. Maybe I don't like it anymore. We'll see. I'm gonna pull it in. It's small, it's compact. Um, I remember I really, really enjoyed it. So let's pull it in. Okay, for uh, foundations and concealers, since that uh, Dose of Colors foundation is kind of like on the fuller coverage, I want something a little bit lighter. Um, mm, a little bit lighter. I'm going to pull in this guy, L'Oreal True Match. Uh, this is, uh, it says Light Ivory W2, but I had put in quite a bit of darkening drops in here um, because it was too light and I, I, I've basically changed the color of this one. So I don't remember what I thought about it. So I'm going to pull this guy in. How about we do one concealer? I mean, I, I pulled in a new concealer, but I want to do one more. It's just this thing is too full. Uh, let's see, what have I not used in a long time? I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull in 
um, the Ulta one, the Ulta Beauty Concealer. This guy. He's back. Uh, Ulta, yeah, the Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Concealer, and this is the shade uh, Light Warm. This might go really well with the foundation since the foundation is full coverage. So I'm going to do this guy. For powders, I didn't have a new powder. I know there's one powder that I want to pull in, and that's... Um, by MAC, it's in a, it's in a palette. Uh, for loose, I think I'm gonna pull in this ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder, and this shade is translucent. I remember really liking that guy. So I'm gonna pull that in, and for finishing powder, I'm gonna try this guy. I don't know if I like it as a finishing powder or not. This is the e.l.f. Glow, it's a shimmer uh, powder. It's a loose powder. I don't think e.l.f. makes this anymore. We'll, we'll give it a shot. We'll see how it works as a finishing powder. Um, yeah, so I think that's it for powders. I'm going to skip single shadows because um, I did pull in like three eyeshadow palettes basically. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, face palettes. For face palettes, um, I don't know. I do not know what do we have in here. I think, should I do this guy? I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the cover girl. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do this guy. Cover girl, peach punch, uh, highlighter palette. Uh, it says highlighter, but it has a uh, bronzer, a blush, and a highlight. I remember really enjoying this guy. So I'm gonna pull this in. For bronzers, we can kind of go wild here because there's only the one bronzer that's in the face palette so I can pick up a couple um, a couple bronzers uh, I think the first one I'm gonna pull in I'm gonna pull in one of these uh, the essence matte bronzing powder one is for darker skin darker skin and one is for lighter skin I'm gonna pull in the lighter skin one um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this guy in. This is the Wet n Wild uh, Sand. It's like highlighter. I did like using it at some point as a uh, like a bronze stopper, but I think it's too glowy. So I'm gonna give this guy a shot and see if I do want to keep it in my collection or not. And then how about we do just one more, one more bronzer? Let's do this matte bronzer by Ulta Beauty. Yeah, let's do this guy. Why not? Let's pull this guy in. Okay, for blush, I pulled in those two uh, from New Makeup. And the last time I filmed my uh, my shop mustache, I wanted to pull in these two, or one of these two. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these two, these two blushes. One is Spring Sheen and one is... Why can't I remember? It took me forever last time to pull them out of here. Uh, margin. Margin and Spring Sheen. And I'm gonna, uh, I really wanna try this uh, uh, pressed powder again. This is Emphasize. Emph emphasize? Yeah, I believe it's Emphasize. So I'm gonna pull this guy in, um, these in there. So I think that's enough options for blush. Um, yeah, I think that's enough. I, I'm definitely overdue for a blush declutter um it, it's it needs to happen real soon because it's kind of a little bit out of hand um so that's it for blushes let's go ahead and pull in a highlight artist couture i remember liking this guy this is ofra on the pink side let's do artist couture because that uh, ofra highlight the pressed one is kind of blissful so pinky side so let's do this artist couture one and then let's do let's give this guy a shot. Uh, this is by Pixie, and this is supposed to be a blush duo, but definitely a highlight on me. So I'm gonna do this one, and then I think I'm gonna do this guy. Um, I haven't used it in a while. Models own um, the shade is Sculpt Anglo Highlighter Powder. The shade is Peach Pearl. I haven't used these. Uh, all three of these in a very long time. I don't know how I feel about them. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put stuff back in the everyday drawer and then let's do swatches. Okay, so I went ahead and put everything in uh, my everyday drawer. Let's uh, quickly go through it. We'll do swatches for things that we can swatch. Uh, the e.l.f. glow powder. I wanna see how this guy is. Um, hopefully it's not a high, I don't think it's a highlighter. I think it's a, a powder that's gonna like got a glow um yeah 
I wonder how this will be as a finishing powder, like a buffing powder. I, um, I, I, I'm really curious to try this on the face. Um, so I have this guy. I also have whew, powder everywhere. And I put in the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. Um, this primer, I'm just trying to finish it. And then let's open this other primer. I think this came in a, a Sephora bag. It has like the little bursty things in, in it. So um, I kind of felt a little dumb because uh, I totally skipped like my primer and my uh, setting, spray setting spray drawers. So I just pulled in a setting spray. I didn't want to pull in more primers. I'm just going to keep it to these two so I can finish one of them basically um and i pulled in the morphe setting spray i know sorry i didn't film that but uh for bronzer i pulled in the essence sun club matte bronzing powder i remember really enjoying this guy it's, uh, it's a really nice bronzer and this is the lighter skin um the wet and wild kind of like a bronze topper i think I, I think this is gonna be a declutter it looks so orangey uh, an orangey like shimmer thing. We'll have to see how this is gonna look on the skin. Top in another bronzer and then the Ulta Beauty matte bronzer and this is the shade warm. Um, looks looks kind of more cool, not warm. <laughs> uh, sometimes swatches don't work out for me very well. So, so for blushes I have uh, the Disney Collection Court of Miracles uh, first blush this I this is gonna be so intense I think I think I'm gonna have to be extra extra light-handed with this um, doesn't it kind of feel like that one that I just decluttered shade wise the pearlescent pink by wet n wild I'm gonna I still have it sitting right next to me okay I like the formula of the color pop one I feel a little bit better about decluttering the wet n wild one so um, there you go. Um, it just happens that way, huh? Uh, the other blush in here is the Bounce and, Bounce and Blur blush by Bare Minerals. And this is the Mauve Sunrise. Ah, oh, this is so cute. Ah, oh, that's such a cute... Okay, formula is very interesting. Ooh, that's a really beautiful shade. Wow, it kind of like went on so smoothly. It's a really pretty shade. I'm really excited to play with this guy. Um, and then for highlights... I have four in here. I have like a hair. Just come on, go away. Models own, and this is uh, Peach Pearl, the shade 02. Let me see how this guy looks. Okay, looks a little icy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, that looks good on my skin tone. Ofra Blissful. Those are blinding. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. Uh, Pixie by Petra. This is Peach Honey. Some of the stuff I'll only be able to use like one time, but that's actually really pretty too. It's definitely not a blush duo. It's more like a highlighter. Um, so there's that. And then the last one is by Artist Couture. And this came in a boxy charm a while ago. And I remember I used to really, really love this color. Um, ooh, yeah. Really pretty. I'm excited. I'm excited to use this guy too. Um, so there's that. And then the blush. And uh, let's do the palette real quick. Oh. I forgot, I forgot to do these swatches. Let's swatch those, and then let's watch this palette. Okay, so the CoverGirl um, Peach Punch Highlighter Palette. We got a bronzer. Let me make sure my hand's not wet. Bronzer, blush, and highlight. So here we go. Here's the bronzer, blush, and highlight. Ooh, really pretty. The formula feels amazing on this palette. Um, I Again, I haven't used it in so long. I think over a year for sure. And then I have MAC Spring Sheen, MAC Margin, and then here's that uh, um, like single powder. I think it's em Emphasis, Emphasize, Emphasis, I don't know. Uh, here's Margin, here's Spring Sheen. Oh, I need to build that guy up. And here's that powder. 
Let me build up spring sheen a little bit. So the shades that I like, they're just peachy, glowy, uh, so pretty. I haven't played with this palette in so long. All right, I'm excited. Okay, for mascara, I pulled in this guy, the Lash Topia, because I think I'm almost done with this one, the Monsieur Big. It just doesn't come out like, it comes out with some stuff on the brush, but not as much as previously. So maybe I'll open this one. I don't like to open too many mascaras at the same time because I don't want them to go bad. Um, I'll see if I use this one and I feel like, okay, I need a new one, I'll open that one. Otherwise, I'll just stay in here till next time. Okay, I do have the uh, Julep Cushion Complexion Concealer in here. Uh, this was a gift from my friend Valerie. Thank you, Valerie. I have the Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Concealer and this is in the shade Light Medium. Um, I, I don't remember what I thought of this guy. So I, I'm ready to play with it again. I do have the two foundations. I have the Dose of Colors uh, Meet Your Hue Foundation and I have L'Oreal True Match. I'm really hoping that I get a good match because this looks a little dark and this looks a little light. Maybe I'll have to mix the two. <laughs> um, I did pull in the Morphe Setting Mist. Just like I told you I did, I put this guy in here. And then for eyeshadow palettes, let's do a couple swatches for eyeshadow palettes. And then I'll swatch the lip products. Cover Girl True Naked Chocoholic Palette. I remember enjoying this guy when I played with it a while ago. So oh, yeah, the formula is still so good on this. I swatched all the... Oh, I used I pulled in too much swatched all the shimmer shades. Why did I do that? Oh, I guess one matte Or like that matte with suspended glitter in it <sighs> Hmm, kind of a little patchy. I wonder how that's gonna look on the eye. So here's that one by CoverGirl from uh, From ColourPop. This is the flutter palette like the butterfly flutter palette again This um, this was a gift from my friend Mariella I'll have her channel in the description box. You guys should check her out. I love her shop my stash videos. Um, she's and she does panning videos as well. She was telling me about this guy. It's kind of like uh, a super shock shadow shade. So I wanted to swatch that. I'm gonna try one of those glitters. I'm, I'm trying to barely dip in. And then how about we do? Let's do this shade. Why not? Oh, formula feels really great. So here's that one shade. Here's the one. Okay, yeah, I kind of can feel it a little bit kind of like a, a Super Shock Shadow and here are the glitters. Um, I always leave a glitter glue in my door in here for... Oh, that's so beautiful! Wow. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to use this. Oh, look at that glitter. Oh, so pretty. Okay, and then made my own palette from Make It makeup geek i have been wanting makeup geek ever since i started watching youtube which was ages and ages ago but for some reason i just never ordered like any of their products so here it is when they rebranded i went ahead and placed an order i haven't swatched these i haven't touched them um well i have touched them putting them in the palette um i'm really i'm really curious for this green which is the shade spilled tea okay formula feels really good um i think this is this the one that's called tiki i think it's tiki tiki hot curious for tiki hot how about is this morocco one of, i think one of the shades i picked up now this is hot tamale this must be morocco yep so let's do morocco let's do hot tamale why not okay that's Morocco. Spill tea. Oh, that's a beautiful green. Tiki hot and hot tamale. Oh, okay. I really like the formula so far. Um, I do want to swatch um, one. I want to swatch a couple more of these shades. Uh, I did not, since it was like build my own palette, and um, I have so many creamy cream color shades and like I wanted it to be a palette that I I want I, I I really like so I didn't pull in any creams like this is the lightest shade I got so I tried to arrange them in the way that I will probably use them um, I do want to try this guy which is um, wine and dine 
and then this guy which is the only shimmer shade I purchased which is Illuminati naughty as in like naughty naughty okay Ooh, okay here we go I, I wonder if this is gonna be a little bit patchy felt a little bit hmm. we'll see how that's gonna blend and then Illuminati Ooh, that's pretty Okay, so I went ahead and did the swatches off camera. Let's go ahead and talk about them real quick. There's a definite declutter like right now, but I wanted to show you. Um, uh, first one here, the lip gloss is by Laura Geller and this is the shade Amethyst Glaze. Uh, right on top of it is by Maybelline and this is the Superstay in Crayon and this is the shade Enjoy the View. I really like those. I love the smell of them. Um, right above it is Bobbi Brown and this is Give a Fig or don't give a fig give a fig I love this guy too um, the crushed liquid lip uh, formula uh, this is a declutter this is essence vibrant chocolate paint and bloody Mary look at that I could not get a decent swatch it just kept separating okay it's I, I'm not even gonna bother with this guy I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter it like now um, Right next to it is a Smashbox a Liquid On, Always On Liquid Lipstick. This is the metallic and this is the shade Man Eater. Beautiful colors for Valentine's Day or for February. Right next to it is Dose of Colors and this is the shade Mocha. Um, I, the one thing I don't like is, I mean, look at the applicator. What are you thinking? Why doesn't it go all the way in? Ah, uh, okay. There's that. Right next to it is uh, Pat McGrath and this is the shade 1995. It's a beautiful nude. Um, this one I'm not so sure about. It's the one over here. This is Too Faced. Um, I don't know what this is called. The Comfort Lip Glaze in the shade Grin and Bear it. It's kind of like too... I don't know. Shimmery. I'll have to use it on my lips see what I think about it. Right above it is Bare Minerals Bare Pro and I do not know the name of this guy. Uh, this came in an advent calendar that my friend uh, Valerie had sent me for Christmas. So there's this guy. Um, right next to it is Wet n Wild and this is a uh, hot Paris pink. Um, it doesn't look really pretty but when you remove this guy it leaves a very beautiful stain on the lips. So that's how I usually use it. Kind of like a lip stain. Um, and my son had gotten really into this guy. Yeah, destroyed it. Um, right above it is the Ofra liquid lip that we just pulled in in the shade Brickle. Um, right above that is the ColourPop uh, Luxe liquid lip in the shade is Fabus. Um, and the two lip liners, this guy is by Profusion, the matte lip liner in Secret Nude. And the one below it is by Bite Beauty in the shade is 69, 78. Hmm, not 69, 78. <laughs> okay, uh, this is it, you guys. This is all of the makeup that I'll be using. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.